Good evening. This is the video newsletter for BuySellShort.com for Thursday, March 26th. Uh, yet another fantastic and profitable day for bulls and for the newsletter in the market. We ended up 174 points. Shorts got bent over the barrel yet again. Uh, as you can see, we're still in this nice uptrend on the 15-minute chart. Uh, we're up, what, 1,400 points now over the last three weeks. We essentially just flipped what happened from February into March, where they walked the market down 1,800 points on a slow grind that uh, just nailed the longs. And now the shorts are feeling the same pain. We keep getting pushed higher as shorts cover. Market goes higher, they short again. Market goes higher, they cover, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Here on the 15-minute chart, you can see we've got really nice support on the 200-day moving average. That's at 76 or 75.53. If we flip over to the daily, uh, also corresponds to pretty strong support. I would say 7,600 is our line in the sand now. If we see the Dow push below the 50-day moving average, then we could see you know three, four hundred point uh, down move after that. But while we're still in this bearish rising wed, there's no reason why they can't push us up to 8,400, uh, especially if we're able to break 8K. That's going to be the challenge tomorrow. Uh, if they're able to break us up over 8K, you're going to see another wave of uh, robot short covering programs come in. Really, the only indicator that is overbought on the Dow is stochastics, and stochastics can tread water over the 80 level, you know, for a few days or longer. On balance, volume looks really good. ADX looks good. We've got very strong money flow, and look at RSI. I mean, we've still got lots of upside on RSI before we even get to overbought levels. Volume has been dying off, but it's not that bad. I mean, we sold off on low volume. We're rallying on low volume. SMH continued its breakout move today. Uh, looks like this is the breakout uh, triangle on the SMH. Target here is a move to the 21, 22 area, but for now we're just riding part of our core position, just given that we're up so much on it uh, over the last couple of weeks. We've got a lot of winner plays uh, over the last few days. We've got a lot of open plays right now, but I'm going to focus on the main ones and my favorites. ASTM, the stem style stocks, look ready for a big move. I don't know what the catalyst is. I'm just going off the charts, and the charts have been dead on lately for our plays. Uh, as such, we nibbled some more ASTM. Breakout is $0.40 cents here. First target, 50-day moving average, $0.48. Cents. Uh, flip over to uh, STEM and GERN as well. These charts are coiling for a big move. Volume has dropped on them, and the indicators are just saying a big spike is coming. And, you know, you can jump into STEM if you like, but I prefer ASTM because it's at its lows, whereas the other stocks are, you know, a little bit higher than where they were after or before the stem cell hype began. And, you know, we get more bang for our buck playing with ASTM. BCON, big breakout today. This spike up here is BS. It was the market maker doing a sweep. Essentially, that's where they go manipulate the chart and uh, don't have to pay if you've got a sell order up here. The real high of the day is uh, 53 cents, but finally we got our breakout on, on BCON on volume. First target is 70 cents here. All the indicators look great. This uh, Check out on balance volume. If you're not familiar with what on balance volume, essentially this shows buying and selling interest in a stock. This is telling you that people are loading up on this stock, and now it's starting to play catch up in the stock price. Again, I think this is going to be a monster play for us for the rest of the year. $0.70 cents is just our first scalp target uh, with eyes on at least the 200-day moving average at $0.94. Cents. QTWW is our other alternative energy play. You'll remember two weeks ago I said that the next sector was going to be alternative energy stocks. They have been on fire over the last few days. Solar stocks are up huge. This stock, this is a laggard solar play. You know, they're a battery play, but they also own a German uh, solar subsidiary. Chart looks great. We broke up through the 50-day moving average. This stock is trading in the 90s and after hours. We No reason why we can't see this when make a push up into the ones. RSI is broken up through resistance at 50. We got a Nice ADX trend. We've got a nice stochastics move. 
and the unbounced volume is now just starting to turn up. So this one looks fantastic. Would nibble this one anywhere under 75 cents on dips. DSTI, this is our other solar play, lagging big time. It tried to break out today. Volume was pretty good. We should see the real move come tomorrow, in my opinion. Target is the 50-day moving average at $1.52. Solar stocks have been up huge in the last couple of days. We had stocks up 25% today in the solar sector. Traders will find these laggards. RSI, I mean all the indicators, RSI, stochastics, unbounced volume, all suggestive of a pop in this price. Stops a dollar, upside a dollar fifty. A uh, very nice risk reward, in my opinion. Biotech stocks. Penny crack was, oh my god, it was crazy today. I mean, some of the stocks like CTIC, they traded that one up to ninety seven cents. It was five cents last week. It it had a market valuation of three hundred million plus with uh, no drug on the market. Stocks like NRGN, they've got $31 million in cash. Really, really low market cap. About ready to break a very long flag on its chart. All we're looking for is a move to $0.40 cents on this one. We're not asking much. Late in the day today, we had CEGE and uh, a couple of other you know, cash-rich penny stocks just go ballistic. So this is my play. It's my favorite one for a nice big move. Would add twenty cents in honor on this one. Target forty cents. Quick mention on FBR Friedman Billings Ramsey, uh, pretty cheap broker asset manager play. They're starting to run all the penny stocks, so this one that's got a cash value of uh, eighty cents plus would look to add it twenty twenty one cents. Target, let's go for a first target of thirty three cents on this one. DPTR, it's another uh, petroleum play, oil play. FTK was a massive winner for us over the last few days. This one has a similar chart setup. It's getting ready to break out. Tested its 20-day exponential today. $2. Seems pretty damn doable on this one with stops at the 8-day moving average at $1.26. RSI is still oversold. we got a positive ADX cross. We've got stochastics in the basement. And check on balance volume. They've been pouring into this one. It just hasn't reflected it in the price yet. It will very soon. Last mention, ELN uh, mentioned down here a couple of days ago that uh, we're going to see a move to the sevens. Huge volume today. Got as high as 773. Rumor out there is a Danish biotech is going to buy them out for $11 a share. We shall see. Volume was pretty heavy and has been pretty heavy over the last couple of days. So there is some sort of news floating around out there. Whether or not it's buyout news, I don't know. But uh, it would be nice to see this one get bought out so we can finally pull it off our radar. So again, you know, we've got a bunch of active plays. If I didn't mention them, uh, it's not that we're not in them. UTSI looks really, really good. ACLS. Uh, Looks fantastic. Another penny play, NEXM. Uh, anywhere 12 cents and under would look to add that one for a possible uh, penny spike. LVWR is another one. Here's NEXM's chart. Target, you know, 25 to 30 cents. Why not in this market? Look at the moves some of these stocks are putting on. LVWR, same thing. Why not 30 cents? I mean, look what CTIC did today. HSWI is another one. Uh, this is a cash-rich stock. It's been, you know, bouncing around here over the last few days. You know, 50 cents doesn't seem too crazy to ask, especially given it's cash. So, you know, we've got a lot of active plays, but like I said, we're, we're getting, you know, pretty long in the tooth. And like I said before, bear market rallies always go further than most people think and butcher the shorts. We're just going to be a little bit of smart on it. You know, the analysts are starting to come out. Everyone's gone bullish on CNBS. Uh which uh, means a retrace is probably coming, but you know they could keep jamming us to 8,400. So while the getting's good, we're gonna get getting. And uh, that's really it for the video. I'll see you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Good night.